Hi campers, welcome to a new episode of Dot Base Cam. Today I am going to shoot a different video because one of my friends requested me to upload a video on Jarbera and presently I have no Jarbera. I cultivated Jarbera long ago. So I have to shoot the video outdoor. Now I am going to Nakashipara where there are so many Jarbera farms and polyhouses and there are Jarbera is commercially cultivated. Now I am going there to shoot my video on Jarbera. In this video, you are going to ask a spectacular Jarbera field. I will also share some essential Jarbera growing tips. So friends, if you skip the video, you will miss a lot. So please watch the video till the end. And friends, if you like this video, you may subscribe my channel, like, share and of course leave comments. Friends, we have reached the village. Today, I am accompanied by my daughter. She is on the camera and he is Bipul Bishash by a professional teacher. His uncle grows Jarbera in four polyhouses. Today, he will show us two polyhouses. So, let's start. This is the first polyhouse we are going to visit. You see friends, it's a big polyhouse. Now, we will enter into this polyhouse. She is my daughter Deotima. She is also running a YouTube channel. I request my dear campers to visit her channel and support her. It's a cozy home of drawing. You will find the link in the description below. You see friends, it's a big polyhouse and Jarbera in varieties of colors are commercially cultivated here. Jarbera is commercially very important because it is the fifth most used cast flower in the world after rose, carnation, chrysanthemum and tulip. The best time for Jarbera plantation is early spring. Jarbera can be propagated by seeds as well as by crown division. Seed is the cheapest method, but fresh seeds should be used. Old seeds may lose viability. Flowers from seed grown plants may not be true to forms. They may vary from parent flowers. On the other hand, we can be sure what type of flowers will be from crown division plants. As for propagation from seeds, always use viable seeds and use soilless germination medium. Report seedlings after growing two sets of two leaves. As for propagation by crown division, friends, you may divide crowns of older plants. After division, remove the lower leaves and replant immediately. Be sure the crowns must remain above the soil. Now apply water thoroughly. Don't make the crown and the leaves wet. It may cause plant rot. Now I will show you the crown of Jarbera. This is the crown of Jarbera. Friends, if you think of buying seedlings from nurseries, some buying tips for you. 
Number one, check the foliage. It should be deep green. Number two, check the roots if possible. It should be white, not brown. Number three, leaves may look healthy, but check that there is no diseases or insects underside the leaves. Gerber likes well draining light, fertile soil. Add compost to the soil. Heavy clay of the soil should be amended with compost to avoid the soil go wet for long because Zalber is susceptible to crown rot and produces fewer flowers in wet soil. Mind that roots of Zalbera go as deep as 50 to 70 centimeters. Jalbera daisies like full sun. They also prefer afternoon shade when temperature is high. Now friends, we will go to visit the second polyhouse. So please stay with us. There you will find some difference. This is the second polyhouse. You see there are not so many flowers as the first polyhouse because as per flowering plants, so much foliage results in fewer flowers. You see foliage is stiff here, Jarbera prefers aeration around the crowns, so sometimes foliage needs to be thinned out. This is a farmer and he will spray insecticides. Thank you. 